Okay, good. I thought it would be that. Tea. Oh, no tea, man, no tea. Uh, Sick. I don't want any of it. Oh, or me, I feel awful. <laughs> what is all this? Oh. We cook whatever he is. Oh. oh, my stomach is killing me. I need some uh. medicine. Will you please get somebody to get something first? I can't stand the pain. Oh. You're wanted outside. Oh. Okay, uh, look, since we're both here, why don't we move the idol out now? Good idea. Oh. You stupid, idiotic thing like drinking from his cup. Now we've all caught his disease. Oh, but I didn't. You, uh, your drink wasn't enough for you. No, no, you had to take his too. Well, that's just typical of you. You've always been like that. You've been a stupid, selfish, spoiled brat. Well, I couldn't help it if I got thirsty. Oh, sure, just take whatever you want and damn the consequences. How dare you talk to me like that? I'll say whatever I like. I'm sick of you and I'm sick of your complaining. My complaining? You have not stopped since we got here. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. I should never have gone to Delphina's that day to try and help you. Oh. I'm fed up with getting you out of your messes. You deserve whatever it is that happens to you. Oh, how dare you! Oh, you! Hey, 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 listen up. And you, over there. All right, you try that again. You'll be very sorry. Let's move it. Well, the parade's about to begin. Time for me to do my daily turn, or break a leg, as they say in American show business. Still in one piece. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't suppose those guards are going to keep quiet about this. I don't suppose so. What if they want to punish you? What if they You mustn't think about that. Well, they can't expect us to just sit here and wait for the axe to fall. I don't know what they expect anymore. I just don't know. We are trapped here. We're not going to get out of this now, place. Now, don't say that. We got our backs against the wall, but we'll get out. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know, but we're not going to give up. But they don't even know we're here. What if they don't want to give up the microfilm? And what if they do give up the microfilm and they still kill us? I mean, what insurance do we have that they aren't going to do that? None. I'm really scared. So am I. You're scared. That's really reassuring. Now, wait a minute, English. It's all right to be scared. We'd be kidding ourselves if we weren't. Now, we have to find a way to make the fear work for us. How? Well, I don't know. What do you do with fear? Two things. You run from it or you confront it, right? Well, there's nowhere to run. So we confront it. Well, I'm up for that, but how? I don't know. I don't know. We, we, we find another way out. There is no other way out. There's always a way out. The air duct? No, I already looked. The air ducts are too small. I just don't know what we can do. I bet the answer's right under our noses. What we need is someone to help us. There is no one. There is? Who? No, 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 no. Now, wait a minute. You were married to Grant. He's got to have some feelings for you. He has to. Oh, yeah. He proved that the other day when he looked me straight in the face and he said I should have killed you, right? How'd you know he wasn't putting on an act? An act? Did you see his eyes? He had nothing but contempt for me. Sylvia, so you can't be sure of that. Yes, I am sure of that. If, if you could just put aside what's happened. Holly, do you know what you're asking? Just for a little while, if you could talk to him like you used to talk to him when you were together as man and wife. Maybe you can get through to him. Maybe he'll help us. You mean like come on to him? I can't, Ollie. I despise him. And he despises me. Look, I'm sorry, lady, but you cannot say that until you try it. 
You have to try again for all our sake. No, I won't make a fool of myself again for him. I won't. I won't. I would rather rot here. 